my most amazing artists. And how are you today? Today will be a great day. Today we will create our own creepy carrots. Then we will use our creepy carrots to practice skip counting and counting even and odd numbers. Let's create. Love, Miss Collier. Let's look at some pictures. I haven't read the story, Creepy Carrots, by Aaron Reynolds, uh, illustrated by Peter Brown yet. You can go to the link in this YouTube video, uh, in the bio, and you can watch Miss Collier read the story and play a game with you. For those of you who have read this story, before we make our own creepy carrots, we need to look at the pictures. So let's look at the cover. What do you notice that's the same about all the carrots? Interesting. Yeah, all the carrots are orange. They all have eyes. These carrots have teeth. And they all have some sort of little hair or the puff on top. What do you notice about these carrots that are different? Yeah, some have one teeth and some have two. Some have angry eyes. Some look surprised. Their mouths aren't exactly the same. Some are thin and some are fat. And you might notice other differences I didn't even say. Excellent observations. Let's create our own carrots. Today, as you create your own carrots, you can make some of the same decisions that the illustrator, Peter Brown, made to make his carrots look creepy. And some of them don't really look creepy. They look kind of nice. So you can decide how you're going to make your carrots look. You could make them all look the same, or you could make all of them look different and add different details. Today, you need to make at least two carrots, at least two, but you can make as many as you want. The more carrots you make, the better. Let's look at how Miss Collier makes her carrots. What shape are carrots? That's right, a triangle. So first we're gonna draw a triangle. Notice that Miss Collier is using orange construction paper because I have it, but if you don't have orange construction paper, you can use whatever paper you have. Next, Miss Collier is going to use this handy sheet to help her choose which eyes and mouth she's going to draw on her carrot. Let's go! And then if you have green construction paper, I ripped up some green construction paper to make his, uh, the stalks. If you don't have green construction paper, you can just use white. these really cool paint sticks. They're tempera paint, but they look like a glue stick. And I'm gonna use those to create my next carrot on some white paper. Remember, if you don't have paint sticks, you can use colored pencils, markers, crayons, whatever you have at home.
last carrot. I'm gonna use good old markers. carrots you make the better. I can't wait to see all of your creepy carrots. <laughs> <laughs> 